can you ask your neighbor what what do you admire the most? And allow your neighbor to tell you. What what are you admiring? Huh? What are you admiring? Skongel. The one? Prayer. Prayer. What are you ad The Holy Spirit. Can I have a mic? I want to ask some people here. What are they admiring? <clears throat> because I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Let me ask you, what are you admiring? To fellowship more with God. Yeah, what? To fellowship more. To fellowship more, more with God. Let me ask this lady. I admire the Holy Spirit. You, you want one? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Let me ask this man, this way. I admire the gospel. You admire the ministry? Yeah, the gospel. Let me ask this one. Ah, uh, the word of God itself. You admire the word of God itself. The word of God. <laughs> Let me get some money. Hallelujah. I'm sure this is going to help you. Let me ask you, this man. What are you admiring? I admire knowing God. Knowing but God. my naked eye also admire the material, Bensley, beautiful house, mm. and riches. Yeah. Clap hands for him. Clap. Clap hands for him. L let me ask one person here. Let me ask this man. This one. A a life that has progress in it in every sphere of it. Let me ask you, sir. Yes. I'm sure there's pastors here. I admire the word of God the most, meditating upon the word of God. Yes. Let me ask you this. I know, when I come here, I, I know all of you. Here. I know people that can pray. I admire the spirit. I, I even know people that can pray. Yeah, yeah. I admire the spirit of God. Man. You admire the spirit of God. Yes. So you don't admire money? They are, they are, I want to pursue him and they will come after me. I want to pray for you. You know, today when I was driving, coming here, you know, the Holy Spirit asked me a very simple question. He said, what do you admire? Because, you know, when, when it comes to the things of the Spirit, I see many people you know, trying to copy other people. And I asked myself a lot of questions. I said, when Paul said, learn from me, he didn't say, you know, you must even talk the way I talk. He's talking about the behavior. He's talking about his relationship with God. I'm sure you're hearing that. Huh? He's talking about the seriousness and the hunger that he had for Jesus, that we should learn from him. I'm sure you're hearing me. Huh? Many, the reason why I ask you this question, you know, I, I, I had a lot of spiritual, spiritual, spiritual. But the question is that, is it true that you only want to be spiritual? That's the question. You know, I want to pray for you now, but I had this thing in my spirit. That, is it true that the only thing you want is God? No. If hunger comes to you, you still say, I want God. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Today we can God can say let me remove money from ministry. 
how many pastors are we going to have? Huh? How, how many? Huh? Hmm? Few, isn't it? If today God can, can rewrite everything and say from now on, let, let me separate money and the ministry. The ministry must be here. Money must come this side. No, no more money. Do you think you will still be a pastor? Yes, yes, yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Can I pray for you? Yes. But can you ask yourself this thing from today? What do you admire the most? You know, because what I'm telling you is very serious. If today God can say, no more money in the church, do you think you can call yourself prophetess yes. or apostle? You start to see pastors writing CVs now. I'm telling you. You start to see pastors organizing CVs, starting to sell things now. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Whatever that you say as a Christian, can you mean it? Yes. Can you mean it? Yes. Huh? Yes. If someone comes here with a gun now, Last time I came here, I told you, I said, why am I seeing criminals coming to our church? If someone comes here now with a gun and say, who's a Christian here? If you're a Christian, go to the right. <laughs> you, you, you will really see that we are not ready for anything. You really see that the church of the old is still taking a cup. The gospel of the old is still the one that is very strong. Now we, we have got spectators now. If someone comes here and challenges you and bring AK 47 and say, if Umzalwani, right. You will be surprised that out of all of you, only few will go. I told you that a church has become a place where people want to receive only. If there's no receiving, 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 no, no one will come here. Tell your neighbors and neighbor. Can, can we go back to the church of the old times? The reason why you see young people, very young pastor, you look at this boy, he's 19, 18, already is, is an apostle. When did you have time to serve God? When did you have time? Even Jesus himself, he had to go and kneel down before John the Baptist to show people how things are supposed to be done. And when John saw him, listen to what he said. You are the one to baptize me. Jesus said, no, 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 no. Let's do this to fulfill the scriptures. Ask your neighbor, when did you serve God? When did you serve God? Ask your neighbor. When did you serve God? Ask again. When did you serve God? Can you ask your neighbor for the last time before I pray for you? When did you serve God? When? Did you serve God? when? Ah, you know, on, on, on Daddy's birthday, Malodi spoke something. 
You know what, what she said has touched my spirit. I'll tell you why. You know, she didn't tell you the full story. I even told her after the service, I said, you didn't speak the whole story. You know, she, she, you remember when she was telling you that we used to go to crusade with a truck? Huh? There are days where we'll be going to a crusade in a truck. Rain will come. Cha, 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 cha. <laughs> you know, to be honest with you, when people are playing with God, I just look and say, hey. mm. One day when we're coming from Polokwane there, with a truck, we were sitting at the back. I don't know where that rain was coming from. You know, we took blankets, with, and the truck was not having a canopy. Mm. Ask your neighbor, say neighbor. Yeah. When did you serve God? When did you serve God? <laughs> you know, <laughs> there are people who think God is their uncle. No. L let us not be like the children of Eli. Tell your neighbor, let us not be like the children of Eli. How many people now are like Samuel? When people are still playing with the name Jesus, you decide to be serious with him. 